Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So I have another curly wig for you guys. So this wig is really, really thick. And as you can see, it combs through with ease. Look at that bounce back. Okay. So it is really thick. So it gave me like this very nice island vibes. I was so in love with it. So this is how the hair came packaged. It came with like some tulip bowls and the cap. And this is what the wig looks like before I did anything to it. And that's the inside of the construction of the cap. So here you can go ahead and see that I already started off with the ball cap, put the wig on. And as you see, the hairline is very dense. So I did go through and pluck the top portion of it. So I'm going to show you guys how much I plucked in a minute. But here I'm just going to go ahead and use this lace tint. It's in the color caramel. And you guys, I'm going to try to remember to leave the link down below. <laughs> because y'all be getting on me about not leaving my links. But I'm going to go and link this. Y'all need to get this. If y'all wear wigs as much as me or you wear wigs, period. You need to go get that lace tank because it's bald. So here I'm showing you guys where the middle I um, plucked, but the sides I didn't pluck because I was just doing the middle part. And the hairline is just way too dense for me to be doing all that plucking. There's just too much. Um, I do like when wigs come pre-plucked, and this one wasn't. So I just plucked where my parting space was at. And that's what you can do to kind of like cheat your wigs when they don't come pre-plucked like that but this is a very 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 affordable wig so it's like hey since you can't complain so here i'm just going to go ahead and let my glue dry tacky and then i go ahead and bring my wig down where the glue is and then i'm just going to cut my side tails because i usually try to cut this off before i apply my wigs i'm getting a lot better at applying these wigs i know i've been doing it for a minute but Baby, wigs are tricky. Y'all be asking me and like trying to figure out how I do it and make it look so easy. But baby girl, I be on a struggle bus. You hear me? So here I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair and hot comb it so that I can get everything really nice and neat here. And then I'll go in and cut off the remainder of the lace. And then I, like I said, when, um, I'm applying my wigs. That's when I like to go ahead and do my makeup while the glue is getting tacky. So that's how some part of the video I have on makeup and some I don't. But here I'm using my favorite wax stick, which is by Amber J. Bomb. I've tried numerous from the hair store and they just don't work like this Amber J one. It does not leave my hair greasy, which is the best part about it. So this is what the hair looks like in its natural state um, because... I bleached the knots, but I just held on to the curls so that I didn't get the whole wig wet, which I should have just gotten the whole wig wet because I end up like wetting the entire wig. So I'm just going to pull out small little baby hairs, nothing too much, too major, um, and then swoop that back and use my contour palette to add a little makeup to the part. Um, to get everything to look more realistic. Um, I should have sprayed like a little bit more of the lace tint, but sometimes I spray too much because you don't know what it looks like until it like completely dries. So that's that. And here I'm just adding some mousse to the hair. I like to add mousse to my curly hair first before I wet it. That way the mousse can like soak in and do its job and define the curls really well. And then I go in with my water spray bottle to define it even more. I could have stopped here, but I wanted it more defined. So that's when I go in with my spray bottle to define the curls a little bit more. So here you see, I'm just combing it through and then scrunching up the hair to make sure I get the curls to come back in. And you're gonna see like, I let the hair completely air dry before touching the hair, period. So I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like wet and then also how the curls look dry. I'm using this comb from Sally's. It's like a three row, two, defining comb something like that but I got it from Sally's and I'm using that to help detangle my hair which is bomb.com too so here I'm showing you guys how easy it is to detangle the hair the hair is really soft for it to be so cheap and the curls like really defined however the hairline wasn't pre-plucked so you will have to um pluck the hairline 
as well as it did get a little frizzy and I usually don't add stuff to my curly hair but maybe next time I'll add um, a little um, frizz spray to it and I just received like um some shedding it is curly hair and I was like combing through it so I did receive a little shedding which I'm showing you guys and then that's it like I said when the hair comes to drying I like to just leave it alone so that's how you can see like the hair actually dried into like the curls and the coils so here that's what I'm doing is just separating it so it's not just looking you know just all coiled up together like that but I do not like to touch my hair when it's drying especially my curly hair because when you touch your hair when it's drying it, def it tends to like frizz up more than what it would if you wasn't touching it so here I'm just going back in and like running my fingers through the hair so it can look really good and like more natural looking so here I'm just showing you guys how the curls look so you guys let me know what you think about this video definitely click the link down below so you can check out this hair i've done a review um another time i'll leave that link down below so you guys can see that review as well but hey who can who, who you can't go wrong with a wig that's like right at a hundred dollars so you guys make sure you go check it out please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i love you bye